Hi, I'm Adam Francisco. Are you disappointed with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris after the first month in office? Don't be alarmed. There are millions of Americans that feel the exact same way that you do. As a matter of fact, it's quite likely that a majority of people that voted for Joe and Kamala also fall into that bucket. Speaking of buckets, Joe Biden has done a great job filling it up with lies. Let's review some of his more blatant lies during his first month in office. Joe promised you $2,000 stimulus checks as soon as he got into office. Don't believe me? By electing John and the Reverend $2,000 stimulus check, that money that will go out the door immediately. It's been almost two months. Where are the checks, Joe? And during a recent town hall, Joe Biden lied about the vaccine being available when he came into office. It's one thing that the vaccine, which we didn't have when we came into office. That's strange because Joe received the first vaccine on December 21st. Speaking of COVID, didn't Joe also say that he had a plan to attack COVID? I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. Turns out that was another lie. Biden now says that nothing can change the trajectory of the pandemic. Because there's nothing we can do to change the trajectory of the pandemic in the next several months. Joe isn't just lying to Americans, but he's also hurting the rest of the world as well. Joe recently excused human rights violations as cultural norms. Well, culturally, there are different norms at each country and they, their leaders are expected to follow. Here's another cultural norm for you. If you voted for Joe, you got played, playa. Speaking of getting played, did you know that the cages were built during the Obama Biden administration? Who built the cages, let's, Joe? Let's talk about what Who we're built talking the cages, about. Let's Joe. talk about. And did you also know that Barack Obama and Joe Biden were the first to separate children from their families at the border? If you didn't know that, don't be alarmed. Most people get their news from the mainstream media, which operates as a left-wing propaganda vehicle to protect and cover for the Democratic Party. As I mentioned last time, a good rule of thumb is to diversify your news sources. Speaking of putting kids in cages, the Biden administration is opening an overflow facility for children apprehended at the Mexico-US border. An overflow facility could be considered a fancy way of saying cage, possibly similar to the same cages that Joe and Obama built in 2014. The Biden administration plans to open a temporary shelter for migrant children in Texas the very practice the media blasted the Trump administration over. In just one short month, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have given all of us so much to be disappointed by. So how does one deal with feelings of disappointment? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here to help. Step one, acknowledge how you feel about the situation. Are you feeling hurt? Are you feeling disappointed? Absorb these feelings. Don't try to deny them. Step two, Give yourself time to question your expectations. Those of us who voted for Trump knew exactly what we were getting from Joe Biden. So our expectations are actually being met by Joe. But for those of you who are played by Joe, well, you might need more time to question your expectations. Step three, take time to learn from your experience. Perhaps next time you won't automatically vote for a Democrat. Consider voting for a Republican in the 2024 election. Step four, take a personal inventory. What exactly was it that made you vote for Joe? Was it because you hated Trump? Well, if that was the case, you should maybe ask yourself, why do I hate Donald Trump? Maybe all the reasons why I hate Donald Trump were based on complete lies. Step five, modify your expectations and objectives. Maybe next time you'll want to vote for the candidate that truly serves the American people and not the elite and corporate establishment. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please consider sharing it with a friend. And if it wasn't helpful, well then maybe I should consider joining the Joe Biden Kamala Harris administration. I have a feeling that I'd fit right in. And remember, two masks are better than one and three masks are better than two.